All right, guys, here's a quick video on the front diff slash transmission on an Audi B7. There is your drain. And there is your fill plug. First thing you always do is the fill plug. Just to make sure that it comes loose, because if it doesn't come loose, then you just don't proceed. Okay. Okay, so nothing dripped out. Now we can do the drain. Always pull towards you. If you push forward, you might smash your knuckle. And no one wants that. Alright guys, so I used Liquid Molly GL, GL5, 75W90 gear oil and I quickly realized from the forums and a lot of people that that is not compatible with this transmission. It works, but I did notice some notchiness in first gear and at slow speed shifting. So I didn't know if it was from the cold weather or from the oil. So I went online to some research and apparently ML90 Redline, ML90 75W90 is the appropriate fluid for this vehicle in an aftermarket form and or just get the proper fluid from Audi. I'm going to test it out for the next week and I will report what I see. So right now I'm just waiting for it to stop dripping and then we'll put the plug on. Okay, I think that is good now. You just got a light drip. Put our plug back in. According to online sources. 18 foot-pounds is a torque. These drain plugs don't appear to have any gaskets on them. I guess they have a tapered seal. I haven't had any leaking, so I can confirm that it doesn't leak and it has no gasket. Let's torque it up. And it is a... M10 Allen. This is just the mechanic in me, double checking everything. Okay. Okay. Our fill plug is right there, that rusty bolt. So we're gonna try to get that one out first. What I recommend doing before any of that is to completely clean the area with a brush and a pick. You want to make sure that um, your socket is going to go in there cleanly. So 
what I do is I get a pick, I clean out clean out the area. Okay. Now let's see if we can get that out. It looks like an Allen as well. I don't think it's the same size. I think it's smaller. Let's take a look. I have a feeling it's an M8. So, M8. Get a hammer over the plug. You want it in nice and tight. Okay, get your wrench over it. Ratchet. Okay, and it's loose now. Okay, so our fill plug is now loose. Okay. Yep. Now we check the drain plug, which should come out easily. As you can see, there's not a lot of room here. So, let's see if our socket fits in here. Oh, it just fits. Wonderful. Look at that. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna remove it. And now it's probably gonna spray. So what you wanna do is just set it up in the right way. The fluid looks very clean. Once it's drained, put your plug back in. Okay. It looks like on this side we can use the actual bottle's intended purpose, which is you just stick it in and then you squeeze. Okay. To be honest with you, I prefer my little fill tool. I feel like it's less invasive. You just stick that in there like that. Once it's done draining out, you don't have to wait for it to all drain out, it just has to stop gushing out. You can tighten this up. That's it. It's tight. 